Today we're leaving Virginia and we're heading up very much on the East Coast and we're going through the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, which it's a bridge and a tunnel that connect from uh, Virginia, maybe to Virginia, but Virginia to Maryland, but it goes under the Chesapeake Bay. It's pretty awesome. And I'm a little nervous to tow this thing through this tunnel because it's like a two lane road and I think it's kind of narrow on one side. So you have to be white knuckling it and make sure you're, you're not fishtailing or anything like that. And guys, it's 48 degrees here. It's like, we are not in the South anymore. It's cold. You see, I've got the old North Face vest out. I've got pants on and I'm still rocking my, my Nike power slides. What are you doing? You are not allowed to touch my machine. Uh, oops. <laughs> Jaden, if you're gonna put your hands on my baby, take care of it. You treat it like it's your future husband. Oh, okay. Okay. Look at Jaden is learning the ways of the barista. Watch this, I'm gonna mess with Jaden. Jaden, will you hold this real quick? Hold it. Hold it. Not. Hold it. I need someone to hold it. You're kidding. No, I can't hold my phone and this. Hold no. it. Jaden. <laughs> hold it. I'm not. You, well, this is, your <sighs> fl flows through here, okay? No. No. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if I've ever shown you this, but this is where I keep all my poop parts. Sewer. It's starting to wear off, but I wrote sewer. Ew. Because I keep it out here. I keep it right there on the rack. I apologize in advance. For what? For just you. <laughs> it's all gross stuff. So why would I want to keep it inside my trailer? Or why would I want to keep it in, in, in the under storage? So it's all filled with a bunch of shish kebabs. You know what I'm saying? It goes right here. And I secure it down with these. And there you go. Poop parts, sewer, ew, not going anywhere. What do you think of RV and poop? Um, I think that it's becoming more and more like natural to talk about and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pick up my blocks. Well, at least I'm ready to roll outside. Just waiting on Amber. I wonder what she's doing in here. Hey, What's taking so long in here? Uh, breakfast burritos. Ah, breakfast burritos. Okay, well, I'm done outside. So ah, breakfast burrito. burrito. Yeah. Cohen, how are you doing today? Good. Babe, good breakfast burrito. Dang it, why do you have my camera on? <laughs> I just because I want to say, wives, while your husbands are out there cleaning up all the shish kebabs and stuff, you know, putting all that stuff away, it's really nice to come inside for a nice breakfast burrito. Just helping out that dad bad babe. Why'd you stop arguing? Just gotta turn the camera on. I didn't know you were gonna on. Keep arguing. That way the world can see that you're real people. Jane shouldn't drink coffee in our room. Dad told us not to, and she thinks she's 15 that she can break all the laws. You're trying to change 15! That one likes to get in everyone's business. That one tries to do whatever she wants. And that one just, like, picks a side and goes with it. So, it's just how it is. And then there's this lady with her top knot. I made you a burrito instead of getting ready. So I'm assuming you guys have heard about this gas crisis that's going on and it's particularly hit Virginia really hard, which is where we happen to be. However, most people don't have diesels here, so diesel fuel has been available. We've got a full tank, we should be good to travel up to Maryland where we're going today, about four hours. But I'm at a gas station right now because I need coffee. Um, I, I, I know, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Jaden drank our last bit of milk, but then I unplugged the trailer and it was just too chaotic this morning to try and make myself a coffee. So. I'm getting 7-Eleven coffee. But look at, every one of these pumps has a bag over it. They're all empty, no fuel here. So we're finally on the road. We're on our way to go to Maryland. Drinking garbage 7-Eleven coffee. That's how the morning went. Well, we ran out of milk. <laughs> There's no close grocery stores. So that was one thing. The other thing, about the only great thing about this morning was the fact that I made really good breakfast burritos. But other than that, our morning was pretty awful. 
So we just kind of went around as a family and thought it would be helpful if we each identified two things that we could have done differently to make our morning go smoother. Um, because I think there's a lot of pressure and that pressure kind of escalated into people lashing out at each other. <laughs> they, no, I'm, they think I'm perfect. I just look like a hero on all the videos. He's not perfect. Best everybody. dad of the year. <laughs> oh gosh, he was, he was not best dad of the year this morning. We're kind of all just feeling that like grr right now. Britain is kind of laying her head in my yeah, lap that's, right that's now. That's good, Hudson's laying it's out. Run -on, run -on it's a run-on sentence. I'm already, I'm already chopping it in half anyways. Chopping it completely in half. Chop me in half. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was Hudson's first time doing the Hudson 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 we just paid our toll to do the uh, Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Cost us $24, the most money we've ever spent to drive on a road. 24 bucks. Okay, here we go. I know you feel it in the nighttime, and you've given all your days. While they were waiting on the right time, you went and made your wave. I don't need reasons to live. There's no reason to quit, it's all I know. How are you doing, driver? Um, can't look right now. Okay, don't look. It's a, it's a tight lane, there's a massive wall. And on the other side of that wall is... Well, I'm thankful that didn't happen to us, although Brandon thinks it would have made for some epic GoPro footage. The Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel stretches 17.6 miles across the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. The bridge tunnel saves drivers 95 miles in an hour and a half, allowing them to skip having to go through Baltimore and Washington. The tunnel goes beneath the ocean to depths up to 100 feet. It's hard to even fathom that you're driving 100 feet beneath the surface of the water. The bridge tunnel has had more than 140 million vehicle crossings since it opened in 1964. Quite the feat of engineering. And you know what's sad? We didn't even know this piece of human art existed before going on this trip. It was quite incredible to drive across and well worth the toll price. Maryland, welcome. We are in. We're open for business. It was then time to stop for lunch, and as you can imagine, these two dudes had to let off some travel steam. No. Ew. <laughs> Made it to our um campsite. It is amazing, um, which is really good. We're just gonna show my dad setting up a few of those bangs and booms. He is setting up our trailer, and yeah. Um, when I got a little mail ride, I hopefully get some tour. I don't know if I will be yet. But, yeah. So. I got awkward. Um, yeah. Nothing too special. Watch where you're going. Okay, show me your trick. Slow down though, not too fast. Okay, so that's one of Cohen's tricks he does now. Four years old. It's, it's and what's your other trick? Down. What's your other trick? Do your other trick. Whoa, slow down. Okay, we are in Berlin, Maryland, and we just got here to our campsite. We're at a bougie resort, about as bougie as we've been to since Texas, really. Arizona, that well, yeah, but we're here. We're set up, and we just took a our inaugural like ride around the the park to see what this place has to offer us. Hey, babe. I think travel days are exhausting. A little bit. I think he thinks they are. <laughs> he gone. For sure. That boy gone. This dude learned how to swing today. First time swinging all by himself. Huh? 
Cool. Are you pretty proud of yourself? Yeah. Yeah? Up her in Maryland. We're heading to an island called Assateague Island. And it came highly recommended when I was asking people what we should see on the East Coast. There's this wild horse breed that's been there for about 300 years. I love horses. Supposedly there's some trails and, and beach. So are we all ready to go see some wild horses? Yeah! Brandon, how excited are you to see the horses? It's video editing day, so he must be in a creative block right now. You don't look so wild, other than, well, never mind. I feel like we're at Yellowstone, but instead of like trying to find Wolf. buffalo or elk or anything else we're like on a or hunt giraffes. to find or giraffes at a zoo like we're on a hunt to find all these horses and it's so cool when you find them i love horses <laughs> <laughs> she's weird about horses she's weird about animals she would rather me it's crash our ducks. truck and trailer to save a duck crossing the road <laughs> save the ducks hey uh when's the last time you guys saw one of these driving down the road just you know who needs an RV when they can put a tent in the back of their truck and just drive? Humans are weird. Don't worry, I'm a weird human too. So, we're all weird. You're weird, I'm weird. That guy's definitely weird. I went to go get the truck to uh, catch up with these guys because I didn't think they'd make it back this far, especially Cohen. <laughs> so there they are. Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh! Hey, buddy! Our next stop was checking out the boardwalk in Ocean City, Maryland. Supposedly the boardwalk is something really popular that you do here in Ocean City. And of course Brandon wanted to bring the one wheel. Jaden just thinks she's looking so cool on her bike. No, I'm doing so hard. She's just doing fine. She's doing fine. She's not looking cool, she's just doing fine. Okay, we're going to attempt to do this without running people over. What do you guys think of Ocean City, Maryland? It's cute. I have three words. Cotton candy, pizza, body piercings, oh, funnel cakes, four words. Yeah, they pretty much have four things here. Vibe check, go. Um, pretty good. You've had better? Yeah. <laughs> Our time at the boardwalk fell on the eve of my birthday. So when we were done, Amber wanted to go pick up some authentic Maryland blue crab so she could cook up a seafood broil. I placed an order for um, some blue crabs and some shrimp. And they usually sell them by either the half dozen or the dozen, and I thought that that would be way too much for our family, plus super expensive. So the guy was so nice that I bought three crabs and about a half pound of shrimp, and now we have to figure out like how to eat the blue crabs, but I'm kind of excited about it. I'm really nervous because I have no idea. Oh, oh my goodness, there's like crabs in here. I want to see. How am I supposed to cook these? Okay. Oh. Well, they're steamed and they're actually seasoned. So I think I just need to reheat them a little bit. And that's what we're trying to figure out. Oh, look at that. gonna be good. Okay, Jaden's showing us how it's done. Ready? Yep, ready. Woo! Popped it! Popped that shell. Yeah, these are the lungs, you don't wanna eat these. Okay. 
But then you can eat all the meat around them, right? <laughs> so Jaden took took this top part off and immediately you're like, oh, yep. Supposedly this like yellow stuff is part of the pancreas and yes, people do eat it. These are the crab's lungs and they say do not eat those. So we have to take the lungs off and then there's a little bit of crab meat, white crab meat on each side. And then there's a little bit of crab meat in the large pinchers. And well, it's kind of a lot of work for a little bit of meat, but it does taste delicious. And overall, I'm really glad that we got to experience this blue crab, Maryland style, and I think I've kind of gotten my crab quota for just a little while. And tell me what you have. Okay, I have a crab pincher. When I grow up tomorrow, I can eat this. You're gonna eat the crab leg for lunch? Yeah, for lunch. It, when I grow up. When you grow up. Okay, dude. Hey, thank you so much for watching our journey. We love that you're following along with us. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now's a great time. We'll keep an eye out for our next video as we make our way to Washington, D.C. We stay at a beautiful RV resort that definitely made our top five so far. We celebrate a national holiday, my birthday. And as we take you around Washington, D.C. with us, we open the books a little bit, so to speak, and talk a little bit about how we afford this travel lifestyle. I know you feel it in the nighttime And you've given all your days While they were waiting on the right time